All right, hi everyone. So we are going to continue with exploring library databases for finding scholarly articles on your potential topics for your media criticism class. So uh, in keeping with what I set up in the introduction video that is available on your course guide, we are going to keep looking at one of the examples from a student I have worked with in the past. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that introduction video, I highly encourage you to do so because that is the video where I talk about different avenues of um, ways in which you can start to think about breaking down the research for this particular assignment that you guys have. But this video is all about searching library databases. So the example that we're going to keep using is the student who is interested in, in examining the divisive language that was used in President Trump's inaugural address. Uh, and because at the time the topic was so current and the inaugural address had just happened, she knew there wasn't going to be much research on it. So we had to get a little bit creative with the way in which we uh, searched our databases. And this is the same thing that you you all are going to have to do is think creatively about the big questions that you're asking about the type of artifact that you have uh, and the ways in which your artifacts are helping to answer that big question. That's how we approach library database searching for this assignment. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple of our resources here. As a reminder, all research should begin from the library homepage, www.gorian.edu slash library. And when you're on this page, we are going to scroll straight down to the search the library section, click on our database tab and then click on view all databases from here and once this page opens you will see an alphabetical listing of all of the databases that we have at Jenks and what I would encourage you guys to do is to filter this list by subject area to communication arts that way you're narrowing down this a little bit and you're helping to maybe select some more specific resources a little bit faster so you'll notice when we do this uh, this best bet option comes up here this resource communication and mass media complete is a somewhat new database we have available that that I'm pretty excited about that you guys can all begin your searching uh, in and we'll pull in a couple of resources as we go along. I always love to search in a subject specific database for a class like yours because no matter what type of combination of keywords we enter we're already scoping to a specific subject area in this case communication so it's a way to help narrow our search results already even without having to think about narrow keywords and things like that. So we're going to begin from this database to answer this question. So what's going to happen when you guys click on databases from our list uh, when you're working from home is the Blackboard login page is going to pop up right away and this is the only difference between uh, searching on campus versus off campus for information. You'll be prompted first to log into Blackboard so you'll go ahead and click login and then once that loads you will be immediately landed on the database that you are trying to access. So that's it. That's the only difference. So we're just remember your Blackboard login credentials. Okay so this should look familiar to you uh, if you've ever done any kind of research before and any of our library resources. Um, one other thing that we are going to do that's maybe slightly different before we start entering our keywords is we're actually going to pull in a couple more databases to our search that we're doing. So we've already established we're searching communications and mass media complete but if you go up here to this blue choose database link you'll see a list of all other EBSCO databases that you could potentially pull into your search. So you can cross search multiple databases at the same time. Another database I'm going to pull into my search right now is Academic Search Ultimate. This is our largest largest multidisciplinary database that we have available so it's always a good idea to search that one so no matter what your topics are I would recommend having these two checked at all times for your search. Others in this list that might come up um, it depends entirely on the big question that you're asking. Some of you might be asking big questions that relate to a psychology topic maybe something about mental health or wellness so choosing psych info is a good idea. Others might be looking at research that's specifically about a cultural perspective or social work or sociology so so index would be a good one to pull in. Still others might be looking at this purely from a text perspective like literature or language so MLA International Bibliography would be a good source of information for that. So scan this list and ask yourself what other subject areas might be useful for me in my search. I think for right now uh, we're going to keep it at just these two for the type of question that I am asking. All right so then from there we're going to enter in our keywords. So uh, I recommended to her that she begin a little bit broad with her keywords. So we started with the keyword rhetoric since she was specifically looking looking at rhetorical style and language used within presidential speeches. And then this student was specifically looking at um, divisive or division language within presidential speeches. Uh, so on the second line down, we're going to look at division or divisive to get at that kind of language that was potentially used. And notice that we're connecting those two keywords together using our OR search operator so our database understands that I want either of these terms in my search. And then lastly, since the student was specifically looking at presidential 
addresses, we are going to type in the keyword president, but we're going to throw the little star symbol or asterisk symbol on the end of this so that we can get president, presidential, uh, presidents, any variation, presidency, any variation of the ending of that particular word. So think of each of your search boxes as their own separate keyword and enter them as such. Notice that we've got our search operator and over here so that we can connect our keywords together in our search. And then everything else on this page is about how you actually want to limit the results that you're seeing. And we have a couple of those limiters already set for you. They are print at Gordon, full text in EBSCO, and full text in another database. And all that means is that the information that you're searching for, you'll have immediate access to, either as a PDF or a web document of some kind. In our, the times that we're living in right now, I highly recommend you leave those boxes selected so that you can actually get access to the content uh, that you need right away. But remember, there's always one box that's super important to check off in this list, and that is the scholarly peer-reviewed journals checkbox. Select that to make sure that you're getting academic scholarly research for your paper. Once you've uh, entered your keywords and set your limiters, let's go ahead and click search. All right, so at this point, what I'm doing when I get a result like this is I'm scanning to see how did I do from my initial pass for my keywords. I'm looking at the blue title links here to the articles and seeing if any jump out at me um, as potentially ones that I want to look at. Um, obviously, this first one looks pretty good, but if we scroll down, there are others as well. Even if for my topic, they're coming from a different presidency, um, all of this is generally talking about um, the rhetoric of presidential speeches. So for this particular student, some of these were really helpful. Um, all right, so let's say this top one was one that we actually really liked. Let's jump in here. And once you click on a blue title link, you are looking at the article's record page. We can learn a lot more about it, such as who are the authors, what is the journal that it's coming from. So in this case, it's the Journal of Contemporary rhetoric, it's always a good idea to pay attention to which journals are publishing a lot in your the articles that you're finding. If you're seeing one journal or a couple journals come up over and over again, then that might be a good time for you to actually go to this journal, uh, look at search for it in Journal Finder from our library homepage and do some searches within it because that's probably a journal that publishes a lot on your area of interest. As we scroll down here, uh, we also get the abstract for the article, which can be really helpful in determining whether this is actually useful for our research or not. So read this abstract or summary. And then since we were searching with those full text limiters on, we should have the PDF or web document link right over here underneath the details record category. So click on that PDF and ultimately this is what you'll want to read uh, for the research for your paper. So one other thing that I want to mention that I do in my research before I even spend time reading an article like this, I'm actually going to mine it and use it for the types of sources that it can connect me to. So I'm glancing at this particular article and I notice that their sources are actually footnotes. So I'm looking at the footnotes across these pages and I'm glancing to see are there other um, articles or potentially even books that this person cited that can actually help me out here. So for example, if we were to scroll to page two here, let's say that this article here jumped out at me, seizing the moment, the presidential campaign's use of Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was really excited about that one and I was like, let's go and find it. Um, all I would need for searching uh, for this particular article and seeing if I could find it is the name of the journal, New Media and Society. And you can use our journal finder search on our library homepage for seeing if we have access to that. There is another video on your course guide that walks you through that process. But people's references or end notes Notes on articles can be a really great way and fast way to help you mine for information on your topic. So that's the basics for searching within databases for uh, information on your topic. Notice in here that we focused in on those big picture questions and I think a lot of you for the topics that you're interested in might have to do that. So back it out a little bit and think about what is your artifact helping you to answer about that big picture question. If you need any help, feel free to email me.